Hey guys, I'm here now. It's Yamcha! That's right. Don't worry guys, we worked ourselves half to death with our training. So I know that as long as we stick together, we'll take on these Saiyans, and we will win! <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Hump Day Show. Uh, I'm kind of by myself right now, that's okay. Because we're doing something new, we're doing something special. We actually have, via live satellite phone, JP. Uh, yeah, I don't need that mic anymore. This is professional now. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see if we can ring them in. <laughs> What's up, JP? What up, man? How y'all doing, folks? Here live from the crib. <laughs> give y'all, give y'all, give y'all a review. You know what I'm talking about? All right, so we're here to talk about Dragon Ball Super, the Broly movie. Yeah. Uh, this is a retelling of the of the Broly movie that now is canon. Uh, yes, correct. I saw it in theaters. JP saw it bootleg. So we're gonna <laughs> talk about a little bit about that. But let's start in the beginning. What did you think about the, the the first parts of the movie? Honestly, I thought there was way too much talking. Uh, I did not anticipate there would be too much talking. It was just a lot. I mean, I guess because you had to introduce Brawly, give the background to Brawly, give the background to Goku. Uh, basically, they pretty much did away with Bardock's past. Um, I had never seen Goku's mom. Apparently, Goku has a mom. Who knew? And uh, I mean, why do you expect babies <laughs> every man? Hey, you don't hey, know. We gotta talk to your parents real quick, man. Hey man, Saiyans could mate with each other. Who know? I mean, it could be two men. You know, they created baby. I don't know. But the point is, it, it was uh, we saw Goku's mom. Uh, we saw how Frieza uh, came to power with his dad. Um, we saw how you know Brawly was sent to another planet because King Vegeta, uh, Vegeta's father, was scared uh, to have that type of power around. I guess he saw hindsight how powerful Brawly was going to be. And I guess a part of it was that he was jealous. Yeah. But uh, but I, they did a decent job. But I think this, this went a little too far. I think they they well, tried to talk. That, that beginning of the movie was was uh, like just not only a retelling, but it's also rebuilding the, the, the timeline and story. Yeah. Like the yeah. first Brawly movie was not made by the original creator, Dragon Ball. So that's why when he actually got his hand on, Bro on Broly, he said, okay, we're gonna bring him into the universe of Dragon Ball officially, make him canon. And then we're gonna have to retell the beginning. And in the beginning, yeah. it is super slow. There's a lot of talking. A lot. It's a lot of story. Uh, but I kind of, I I'm, I'm not gonna say like I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I understood what they were going for. Yeah, I did too. I, I think hindsight, they should have cut down at least 10 minutes. There was stuff that, like these characters that came out that were not important, in my opinion. Um, I feel like, you know, uh, Bardock with that one saying, he's having that conversation mm -hmm. when they're returning to, uh, I feel like that was just a stupid conversation. Um, it could have been made shorter. Yeah. I feel like King Vegeta, when, when, when he's talking to, uh, like he's planning and he's talking to the father. I feel like they could have sped that up a little bit more. I think they could have taken away five, 10 minutes. It probably would have been better because it felt like it was drawn out for a while. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I mean, in, yeah, in that beginning, it was, it was really drawn out, but I actually, I kind of got the feels too, whenever they're like, you know, they're, they're sending Goku away and then like, yeah. he's in the pod. Put his hand on the pod. Yeah, and the thing is, <laughs> if, if you notice in the pod, because like in the in the Bardock movies, like Goku's like a little baby, and this one he has like the Saiyan armor and all this other bullshit. I was like, okay, well, calm no, down. They the all of that. Like now they made it to where Broly is for sure older than Goku. And, yeah. And that Goku, um, I mean, they, they always send their their babies to go like you know to the planets and you know to, fuck to conquer whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I I thought that was kind of actually kind of cool that they gave him the, the suit too, but yeah, I mean, like I said, they just changed a lot in the beginning. Yeah. But like once in, once the the beginning got going and uh, we got past that, and you know they fast forward through time and they're grown, 
and you see him again, you know, Goku and Vegeta training with each other. That was pretty cool. And and like, like kind of like how they put them together, like how they're doing their chemistry. I kind of like it. But I also like, remember mm. you were gonna comment when we were watching the movie. You're like, the whole of Goku and Vegeta so nice. Yes, he is way too fucking friendly. Way too fucking friendly. Like, I feel they need to bring Vegeta from the Majin Buu. You know, like, like he was getting all friendly and he was like, I better not catch myself being friendly with these motherfuckers. So then he went evil and he just started killing everybody. I like that. That's the Vegeta we know. I do understand it's a different phase of Vegeta. He has a family now, but I feel like somehow, because honestly, they're making him way too weaker than Goku. Like, I liked in Super how they brought him back at the end and he killed that one godlike. Mm -hmm. So it showed how strong he can be. But I think somehow they they don't focus too much. Like there got to be an episode where Goku isn't always the hero. That Vegeta comes in and he just destroys everybody himself. Yeah, I did so, notice that, that there was like, okay, I, I guess we can skip through the middle because I mean, nothing really happened up until like, basically, I mean, not, I won't say nothing happened. Like they, they it's the Broly movie. So you see a lot of uh, Broly, uh, his interactions with his dad, how yeah. he acts around like new people once they get rescued off that, that planet that they were deserted on. Uh, mm -hmm. You actually see like him, like kind of like getting acquainted to like his new environments and how. Yeah. And you see him how basically his dad had raised him like, honestly like an animal, like a dog. He had like a like the collar, the shot collar, because like Broly is so like immensely powerful, like he can't control it. Uh, but at the same time, his dad never really actually like nurtured him to like like control it. Basically, his dad was just grooming him to be a warrior the whole time. Yeah, but, but like once once we get to the towards the, uh, towards like the third act, where okay, where the dad like six uh, um, Broly onto the you know Goku and Vegeta, I did notice that like Vegeta was fighting him, and then you see Broly getting like more adaptive to the fight. You see him like getting stronger, and Vegeta like he fights Vegeta first, and you see him like going from uh, like his base form to uh, Super Saiyan to a Super Saiyan God, like the red one, which is actually the first time you see Vegeta in uh, yeah. this form. And like, he's fighting him, but he's still having like, like, uh, like you know, he's still- Trouble. Uh, it's a tough time for him to to handle Broly, because Broly, like, he just continues to get- Yeah, and, and I think, and then when Goku comes in and he has like all these hits, like, honestly- Yeah, the no, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, once Goku comes in, Goku was fighting Broly at that level that Vegeta was struggling to fight him in his Super Saiyan God form. And the first form that Goku was fighting him was his base form, and you can see like, like damn, Goku is stronger than Vegeta. I mean, he's still keeping yeah. him rolling in his base form. Well, I mean, to me, because Goku's my favorite character, always has been. Mm -hmm. um, him and, and Piccolo are my my favorites. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I feel like Vegeta is a main character as well, and it's like they're pushing him to the side, like making him weak. It's like. Do you remember like when Wolverine, they first made Wolverine for Fox and they made him all pussy-ish? Like, I feel like that's what they're doing to Vegeta. Like, they're, they, he, Vegeta's strong character. He doesn't give a fuck. He kills. Like, he, he does not control himself. He doesn't care for the weak. Um, I feel like they need to enforce that a little bit more. Uh, they did bring it back a little bit in Super because you got at the end. And because you have to understand, the Frieza's alive now because of what happened in Super. And they, they did mention this, the tournament. They did mention the tournament. They did little drops here and there. And Vegeta is stronger. I feel they need to focus a little bit more on Vegeta and have him like a series where he's unstoppable. Yeah. And to show, cause he's the Prince of all Saiyans, right? He's supposed to be the guy that, that the second one to, to turn to Super Saiyan right after Goku. You know, yeah. he's the one that that turned to Super Saiyans 2 uh, and, and, and and forced, you know, who actually beat Goku by cheating, but he still beat Goku. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. the movie itself, it does not portray this. It, it's really more focused on the teamwork that they do, which I found hilarious. When they start doing the uh, <laughs> the fusion, like- oh, yeah, the in this movie, we also see for the first time, um, Goku and Vegeta do the fusion together, but also they go they go blue. Super Saiyan like God Two or something like that is what it's called, I think. And even before that though, it was so funny. Like, okay, so they're fighting Broly. Broly's of course like just getting stronger. 
and stronger and fucking stronger. Yeah. And I'm like, God damn, like, can somebody and just he away from this guy, PhD? He was, you know? he was on a base. And like, he, he was his base Super Saiyan. Are you fucking kidding me? They should have done something else. Because he was base Super Saiyan the whole time. Yeah, but the, they, they actually try to explain that too. Uh, his dad was like, yeah, he has the power of the great ape, but he has it in his base form. Like, But the only problem is that, yes, he has agility and, and strength, but he doesn't have control over it. That, that, they try to explain like all that stuff. And it was so funny too, because like, like, okay, so Goku and Vegeta were like teaming up on him. Uh, because you know, after uh, you know, of course they do that. That oh, let me fight him first, and then oh, I'm my next, and then they're like, all right, yeah. fuck, this guy's too strong. Let's let's work together and fight this guy, and then so they're fighting Broly in the blue form, and the and they and, and <laughs> the whole time like freezes there because he's there to collect the Dragon Balls because his dumbass wants to wish for five. Did you grow like, taller? I thought that shit was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I thought was that so shit was stupid. hilarious. But it was funny though. I mean, yeah. I, I kind of get like what they were going for for that, but you know, just like you gotta have Frieza there for whatever reason, so they just give him some stupid reason. But like, so they they fight, they're fighting Broly, they're actually like whooping his ass, and then Frieza's like, "Fuck, uh, is that all he has? Like, it's already over." And then the dad is like, "Yeah, I think that's about it." And then <laughs> Frieza's like, "Hmm, I got an idea." And he turns around and kills the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he kills him, and then he kills him, and then he, fucking Frieza turns around. And he's like, Broly, a, a random shot killed your dad. And then Broly. Now, just that fool goes mad. He Look, flips. and I, I think because like they show backgrounds how Frieza killed Krillin, and then Goku mm. goes crazy, so that's why he did it. Um, I mean, it's a. I think it's too. It was too easy, man. It was just that part kind of threw me out because it's like, mm -hmm. I guess, but. Broly goes mad. He goes bananas. Yeah. He ra he goes Super Saiyan Green. He, he finally, yeah, he finally goes like to that form that we usually know him as, like where he has like no fucking pupils and he has his green hair and the green uh, aura around him, and he just starts wailing on on you know Goku and Vegeta, and but Vegeta and Goku are just like fuck. We need to get away from this guy, and then Goku's like, oh, I got an idea, and then so they're flying around and like trying to avoid Broly. And his idea, his first thought was to fly into Frieza. Uh, and he's like, here you go, Frieza. You know, you can handle that. And then Broly just starts beating the crap. The out shit out of Frieza, yeah. That shit was so funny. And then like, that was like, hilarious. Goku and Vegeta teleport. Uh, they started learning how to do the, the fusion technique. Because, I mean, that's the only way they can beat Broly. And, I guess I and Frieza Broly. was and, uh, like, essentially... But, but even that, that took him a while to learn. Because they kept fucking it up like two or three that's times. That's what I'm so saying. Time, Frieza, like 30 minutes of wait. Frieza was like getting his ass whooped for like yeah. two or three hours straight. Yeah. Like, because there was like Frieza 30 was minutes. Pic Piccolo was like, you messed up. 30 more minutes. You messed up. <laughs> 30 more minutes. And I was like, damn, Frieza's getting his ass whooped this whole time. God damn. Yeah. Then the fool must take a beating. Because he took a beating. Hell yeah, he did. But... I mean, they finally use the fusion technique. Of course, they come back, and of course, like, they're like, okay, you know, we're gonna kick his ass now. And they yeah. Do. But um, what we forgot to mention too is like now there's like these two new side characters that are like kind of attached to Broly now, and they're kind of I guess it's supposed to be like his like moral conscious kind of thing. It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, they have man, these fuck that little, names. fuck that like, little chick. I wish for Broly. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Yeah, so stupid but, ass. So, what these characters do? Um, they steal the Dragon Balls away from um, the other character that Frieza gave the balls to because he wanted him to hold them, and they wish for Broly to return to the planet that they found him at, and that literally ends the battle. And like, I was like, really? All this hype, all this like, like build up, and he just ended like that? Like, I don't know. I mean, the fight That's, was cool. Yeah. Like, there's like some scenes that they show like a first person kind of thing. And, and yeah. that's what I wanted to get at. Yeah. Because honestly, the fight, this Dragon Ball Z has come for, come so much so far. Yeah. The fight scenes were exquisite. They did this first person with Brawly fighting Goku. Mm -hmm. And you see Goku doing his moves. And like yeah. the camera, well, the cartoon camera, I don't know what the fuck to call it. It, it stays with him. It's yeah. beautiful the way it's done. The colors were so vibrant. Um, they really made sure that the graphics were all out during yeah. the fight scenes. Um, nothing can be said. The, the fight scenes are dope. Like yeah. straight up dope. 
But as you said, the ending was like, it was like they were like right here, right here, and then it just went. <laughs> yeah, they they were like uh, like going full speed, and then it just stopped. Yeah. Like really? Well, anyways, like, so okay, Broly disappears to the planet that he came from. Some desert crap. And like you see some other backstory that happened like prior to that. Like because he has like this green beard that he's always wearing. Like, I mean I'm not gonna spoil that because it's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. But, uh, <laughs> like so then okay, so he's back. And then uh, someone the shows up that helped him out, go back over there to help him. And and then of course towards the end, like you see Goku uh, instant transmission over there, gives him like supplies. He's like, Hey, I'm gonna come back every once in a while and fight you, okay? And then Broly gives him a little smirk. The little I don't know. I don't know if Broly is, you know, leaning that way, but Broly was like... Broly was like, Okay, man! Thanks for the supplies, Goku! <laughs> You're such a nice guy, Goku! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, the movie, overall, the movie was... It was okay. It wasn't it was great. okay. It wasn't what, like, the build-up was. And I kind of did, did not like that so much of it was also spoiled in the trailers, which I, I, I ranted on in one of the podcasts uh, that we did. But um, overall, I mean, what do you think? What are your, like your final thoughts on the movie? I think it was an okay movie. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I watched it bootleg. I'm glad I didn't pay ten dollars to go watch that movie. Um, it's not worth it. It's worth it if it comes out on DVD or if it comes out on Netflix and you watch it. Yeah. Honestly, I feel my personal opinion, and I'm not a Dragon Ball hater. I love Dragon Ball Z. I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Um, you know, but I feel like it, it's this. But then again, you can say Bleach movies haven't been good. You can say Dra Dragon Ball Z movies haven't been good. Full Metal Alchemist movies haven't been good. Honestly, the only good movie, in my opinion, is My Hero Academia, which was hyped and it fit the hype. This movie yeah, was, was, that was this mo the but movie what was. What do you give this movie as far as like a rating? Well, if it's a one through five, no, I gave it. A, Let's say one out of ten. One out of ten. I give it like a four and a half, maybe a five. Oh wow, I, I give it like a six because I'm I'm a fanboy. But, yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for us today. It's a really short thing, you know. Uh, JP's got a call in from the satellite phone. And, no, I'm saying and pay, I'm over yeah, here yeah, in paradise. Per second per minute, or however it works. I don't know. I'm not that rich to have that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching the Hump Day Show, and uh, see you next time. Peace, guys. See y'all later. Click like and subscribe down below.